Steve Cypress here, Tuesday, May 2nd, 2017. And if I look exhausted, uh, you have excellent perception. I have just had another in a long stream of starting way early and going all day long, client calls. I recently took on a bunch of new clients. And I went against my better judgment and took on several at once, which I almost never do. And it's fun. I enjoy it. I love it. Or I wouldn't be doing it. Hopefully you're the same way. Uh, and yet, at the same time, totally exhausting. So looking forward to a relaxing evening tonight. But I just had to share an experience that was so, I'll, I'll, to, what was going to be today's topic, I will talk about in tomorrow's daily Facebook Live video. But today I just have to share this experience um, in a online forum, I mean a whole bunch of online forums, and this one has a whole bunch of very successful entrepreneurs and business owners in it, and it focuses on marketing, my specialty, so a lot of my peers are there, and some of my clients are in there, and so forth, and there was a thread today uh, started by somebody who was upset and disgruntled at a company that was once very cool and served me and lots of other entrepreneurs and business owners in the in the small business marketing space extremely well and then several years ago the founder sold the company new owners bought it and ran it straight down into the ground ran it into an iceberg ran it off to a cliff off a cliff use whatever metaphor you want basically just destroyed the entire company then it was sold and now recently it was sold again to the third new ownership and this thing uh, if you knew anything about the inside workings of this thing it, it basically unfortunately or fortunately I mean you know put it out of its misery has basically no chance of ever becoming getting back to what it was before so you know somebody posted in here about oh I'm all disappointed in something this company was doing and lots of response immediately came in and go really you're really surprised by that like give me a break what'd you expect blah 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 and then in came this uh, one defender who chose to take it upon himself to be Mr. Defender of this once decent and now he and so many other business owners, believe me, I can handle it, uh, but I've done so many wrong things and underhanded things and just, and, and he, the ones they hurt themselves the, the most were themselves, of course, and just destroy the business. But yet this one defender, I mean, you got to hand it to him, uh, you know, small business owner, entrepreneur, he is plugging away. And going back and forth with every single stinging, damning comment that comes in there about, oh, yeah, and then they did this. And what about how they did this? And it really sucks they did that. And here's an example of how they suck so bad at this. And here's an example of what, and every single one, he's responding like, yeah, but, yeah, but. Unfortunately, his response to every one of them is not anything of substance like, oh, uh, or, or even arguing that they did all these sucky, stupid things. Uh, all his argument is, you know what? It, it, it's but it's but it's going to get better. In fact, it's 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 already better than it ever was. You just don't understand. I mean, really, we're all so stupid that we don't understand that this company that pretty much universally everybody that knows anything about them knows they suck, and yet we don't understand. And their 2.0 version is even better. It's awesome, he said at one point. It's awesome. It's even better than the first version. And he, and he takes pains to keep saying, I don't get paid for saying this. And if you come back and come to their next event, I'll buy you lunch. I'll buy you dinner. I'll buy you breakfast, please. I'll give you this for free. Do that. I'm like, first of all, what, what, don't first. So first of all, here's the deal. Don't you have anything better to do? I mean, don't you have anything better to do? So here's the thing. If you're, this, you're an entrepreneur, I'm speaking now to the dear viewer, listener. You can't be this thick-skinned. You can't get all hot and bothered about something that doesn't concern you, that some other company did to some other person that isn't you. That's why there are, I think there's 10 or 12,000 members of this forum or more, and there's one that decided to take hours out of his day, or even if it was just a few minutes over time. I mean, you know, maybe he was technically typing for a few minutes, but the comments were coming in there every 20, 30 minutes, whatever, so pretty much all day. Anyway, I'll just complete the story. Like, don't be that guy. Don't pull it upon yourself for no reason, apparently. I mean, don't they have a customer service staff? 
And don't you, if you're a small business owner, here's one lesson from it. You got to have a customer service staff these days that's monitoring social media, especially in this case, in a forum where your name and your misdeeds and your terrible things that you've done to come up over and over. You ought to have somebody in there ready to respond. But was anybody from this actually company responding? No. It was this one poor guy who kept saying, I don't you know, get paid to do this, but I'm going to defend him. And I'm defending him and defending him. I'm just thinking like, why don't you have anything better to do? What are you doing? And I'm responding. And every single time he, for some reason, can't let it go. He's keep responding to me. Well, every time he responds to me, somebody else, it invites me or that somebody else to respond back and to bash this company even more. And again, I mean, is, do, you know, is it tantamount to dragging a doctor down the aisle and breaking his teeth or whatever happened to United Airlines a couple weeks ago? Like, isn't any one for this company watching this and jumping in and saying, hey, I apologize for that. I'll make good on it. Like, hey, you know, I know that used to happen or I slipped through the cracks or there's some reason for it. And we'll make it up to you. And we're, no, it's this one, one taking upon himself entrepreneur to get, go back and forth with these people who continue to pound them into oblivion. So here's the thing. You can't have thin skin if you're going to be a small business owner, an entrepreneur and be successful got to have thick skin. Now, I don't mean literally, uh, but, you, but you see this thing up on the wall here? What is that? That's a rhino. And that's a rhino to signify thick skin. It signifies a whole bunch of other stuff, but that's one of the main things you think about or you see when you look at a rhino, two, two inch thick skin. I mean, that's probably thicker than my brain. Like it's two inch thick skin for crying out loud. Like stop being bothered by every little thing. I, I got to read it to you. The last thing the guy put in here before he left, that's he just kept getting pounded away. Finally, he says, uh, uh, oh, and now even this person is making fun of me. I think I'm going to take the rest of the day off. Really? I mean, that's just really, it, 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 his little feelings are hurt now. Oh, he's got to cry, go into the corner and cry and moan. Like, ignore it. It's not even your company that people are rightly bashing with facts, not opinions. I mean, on top of that, there were opinions. Gee, I don't think they'll ever come back. And, you know, the way they keep doing this stuff and not making up for it, or they don't know what they're doing, or they keep making all these mistakes or ignoring the general rules of what made them successful in the first place, blah, blah, blah. Like, just ignore it. Let the company deal with their stuff for crying out loud. And then don't, you know, get your all panties in a bunch here and say, I think I'm going to take the rest of the day off. Oh, I give up. Oh, you hurt my feelings now. Uh, oh, so-and-so is making fun of me. Uh, and I don't think the whole time anyone was making fun of him. We were simply stating the facts every time he would say, oh, but it's back and better than ever. And oh, it's coming back. And oh, everything's going to be rosy and great. You'll see. And everyone's like, no, no, no. I've heard that all before. Not true. Whatever. Somebody could have responded from the company and didn't. So that's number one lesson from today is you or someone in your company, for crying out loud, monitor social media as best you can, especially when... In this form, I have to tell you, this is not a not an outlet. This is constantly happening. This company is constantly getting bashed in this particular forum. They ought to have somebody who practically full time, like you know, all the threads and the comments going on in there, and immediately jumps in, or at least privately sends a message to somebody and says, "Hey, you know, blah blah blah. I saw your post. You know, I'll make it up to you, please. You know, blah blah blah." And then maybe the person would then post and say, "Hey." I just got a private message from so-and-so the company and they're going to make it up and whatever. So good news, you know, stop the bashing, you know, but this guy takes him out. So here's the deal. Why do I have this rhino up on the wall? Why do I have a collection of over 500? That's the last time I counted years ago. I probably have seven or 800 rhinos. And, you know, I've thought about this and I think I might start doing it despite wearing my uh, ridiculous, silly Hawaiian shirt of the day in these videos. I think I'm going to bring into the video every day another one of my collection of probably about 800 different rhinos just for fun i'll have a different one here every day so you can check back and see which rhino is he showing today is a big small colorful gray you know whatever stuffed animal plastic this that made out of glass gold this that i got all kinds of rhinos so anyway here's the deal where's it come from comes from a book that really i have given away it's called rhinoceros success Okay, and it's by Scott Alexander. Easy to find. 
Okay, the secret to charging full speed toward every opportunity. And come on now, is this easy to read or what? Look at this book, it's a few pages. Up oh, there, so, and you possibly can even get a copy, signed copy from the author himself. And man, it's got big print. It's got lots of big pictures in it, it's double spaced. I mean, the first time someone gave me this about uh, 30 years ago or so, and it was just, he was like, you need to read this. I was exhibiting the same thin skin that this person was exhibiting this for me. He said, you just have to read this. And, I, it, you know, I read it in less than an hour, and it changed my life. And I've read it many, many, many times over since then. And I've actually given away hundreds of copies of this book to clients and friends and associates and business owners. And actually, it's part of a trilogy, the Rhinoceros Success Trilogy by Scott Alexander. And I don't know if these are, because I have so many copies. Yeah, they are. So you can probably even get signed copies of each one of these from the uh, author himself, Scott Alexander. And there's an old photo of him on the, in, in one of these in the back. Uh, but it's old. It's like a 30-year-old photo. Anyway, so great stuff here. Even the three of them couldn't take you more than, you know, a couple hours to read. But the main one is the, the red one, Rhinoceros Success. Anyway, it'll help you to have thick skin, which is a must for small business owners. Got to have these comments roll off you. Don't respond. Don't get in there if it isn't your company. And if it is, even if it is. I mean... Thin, thick skin is a must for small business owners, entrepreneurs, only if you want to be successful, which I hope you do. And coincidentally, our, uh, my co-host and I, Ever Farnell, who have recorded uh, 57 weekly episodes of our Lessons Learned from Donald Trump podcast, which is not political at all. So whether you like, hate, and there seems to be, well, there's lots of people in between. We're just not vocal out there. There's the loonies pro-Trump, anti-Trump, but it's nothing to do with the politics. It's all about business lessons you can learn from the things he does right, the mistakes he makes, and the things he does wrong. We've been talking about that, and we'll continue to talk about it every week. And not the last episode, a new one goes live every Saturday, the one the Saturday before. So if you go to the website, LessonsLearnedFromDonaldTrump.com, and you go to episode 56, it's the one before the, the most recent one, and it's all about having thick skin running a business, because people commonly say, oh, you know, I'm so scared that the world's going to end because Trump has such thin skin and he's got his finger on the trigger of the world and all that kind of nonsense, okay? So thick skin we talked about there, thick skin I'm talking about today. Thick skin is what these books are all about. Thick skin is what this poster on the wall is all about. What I got a whole collection of rhinos is all about. If you're an entrepreneur, a business owner, you want to be successful, it's what your whole life just must be all about. So here's to you waking up tomorrow morning with two-inch thick skin ready to charge toward your goal.